टूडे आई उल टक अबाउट भेन्चुरीमिटार ए भेन्चुरीमिटार इज एन इन्स्ट्रुमेंट यूज टू मेजर द डिसचार्ज दैट इज भल्यूम फ्लोरेट थ्रु ए पाइप इट इज बेस्ड ऑन प्रिंसिपल अफ बार्नलिस इक्वेशन एप्लीकेशन द भेन्चुरीमिटार मेजर द फ्लोरेट बूटिलइिंग द प्रेसार डिफरेंस क्रिएटेड बै ए चेन्ज इन क्रस सेक्शनल एरिया उद इन द फ्लो सो हेयर प्रिंसिपल ए भेन्चुरी मिटर अपारेट बेस्ड अन बार्नलिज प्रिंसिपल हुई सेट दैट फर एन इनकम्प्रेसिबल नन भिस्कस फ्लुइड द साम अफ प्रेसार एनार्जी कैनेटिक एनार्जी एंड पोटेंसियल एनार्जी पर यूनिट भल्यूम रिमेन कन्सटैंट एलंग ए स्टीम लाइन नाउ भेन्चुरी मिटर हेज थ्री पार्ट वन इज कन्भार्जिंग सेक्शन दैट पार्ट एक्ट एज ए नजल इनक्रिजिंग फ्लुइड भेलोसिटी एंड डिक्रिजिंग द प्रेसार नेक्स्ट इज थ्रोट सो दैट सेक्शन उथ स्मलेस्ट डायमिटर where the fluid velocity is highest and pressure is lowest and then diverging section gradually increase the fluid pressure back towards its original value so now here apply bernoulli's equation so p1 by rho plus v1 square by 2 plus gz1 is equal to p2 by rho plus v2 square by 2 gz2 now here uh, is the parameters uh, we are considering so consider a venturi meter fitted in a horizontal pipe through which a fluid is flowing so this section is 1 and this section is 2 so d1 is the diameter pipe at section 1 d2 is diameter of the throat at section 2 p1 pressure at section 1 p2 pressure at section 2 v1 velocity of the fluid at section 1 v2 velocity of the fluid at section 2 a1 is the cross sectional area at section 1 a2 is cross sectional area at section 2 h is high difference of manometer liquid rho is density of the fluid and g is acceleration due to gravity now bernoulli equation we already know now next uh, here uh, we know bernoulli equation so if i consider it is a horizontal venturi meter so z1 is equal to z2 so now it will simplify the equation so p1 by rho plus v1 square by 2 is equal to p2 by rho plus v2 square by 2 now apply continuity equation so q will be a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 so here v1 is equal to q by a1 v2 is equal to q by a2 now plug v1 and a v2 so equation become p1 by rho plus q by a1 whole square by 2 is equal to p2 by rho plus q by a2 whole square by 2 now next uh, here uh, we are simplify so p1 by rho minus p2 by rho will be q by a2 square uh, by 2 minus q by a1 whole square by 2 now here we are taking common q1 q uh, q by 2 q whole square by 2 so that will be 1 by a2 whole square minus 1 by a1 whole square now further uh, simply so okay so we got this equation now here we are just considering only differential manometer so this part so now here pressure is p1 here pressure is p2 now we are drawing that horizontal line in two uh, uh two fluid interface so now here p1 is equal to p uh, pb and h is the height difference so now we have to calculate pa and then pb and then we will simplify and we will get some equation so now here pa is nothing but p1 plus this height so we are going downward direction so from here to here height is h plus y into rho g is equal to pv so that will be p2 plus y rho g so because of this plus h rho m into g that h rho m into g so now if i simplify so finally we will get p1 minus p2 that will be h g rho m minus rho so now uh, if i divide with rho both side so p1 by rho minus p2 by rho so that will give h g rho m minus rho by rho now we already have this equation earlier we have that p1 by rho minus p2 by rho that is q whole square by 2 1 by a2 square minus 1 by a1 square so now if we do the simplification so we will get so 2 will be here so 2 a g rho m minus rho by rho q square so again uh, a1 square minus a2 square by a1 square a2 square now further simplify if i do the simplification so now here it should not be q2 it will be only q okay and now right now q2 yes correct uh, then q q will be a1 a2 
so it will it is correct okay so this is okay so q will be a1 a2 root over of 2 a g rho m minus rho by rho and 1 by this term a1 square by a2 square now further simplify okay so now here if we take common a1 it will be root over of 1 minus a2 a1 whole square so a1 a1 cancel out so here q will be a2 root over of 2 a g so here this is i think we have to change uh, here okay so here uh, that will be something q so final q will be a2 root over of 2 a g rho m minus rho by rho 1 1 by root over of 1 minus a2 by a1 whole square now a2 by a1 is nothing but d2 square 2 by d1 whole square that is beta square so if i plug we'll get q is equal to a2 root over of 2 a g rho m minus rho by rho uh, into 1 by root over of 1 minus beta square a whole square now final equation will be so q t h is a2 2 a g rho m minus rho rho into 1 minus beta to the power 4 and q actual is equal to c d into q theoretical so c d into a2 root over of 2 a g rho m minus rho rho 1 minus beta to the power 4 and beta is nothing but d2 by d1 so here q actual is the flow rate through the pipe and then c d is the discharge coefficient which is dimensionless a2 is the co constricted area perpendicular to flow and p1 is the un unidistributed upstream pressure in that pipe p2 is the pressure in the pipe at constricted area beta is d by d and rho is the fluid density and rho is the manometric fluid density so finally we got that venturi meter uh, from this uh, derivation of the venturi meter formula so q actually is equal to cd into a2 root over of 2 ag rho m minus rho rho into 1 minus beta to the power 4 from that we can calculate the flow rate through the pipe that's it thank you